Welcome back to the channel guys. Well today I'm out on the MT10 SP. Uh, I'm going down to Weymouth. One bull's here. He's just having a wee around the corner. He's on his Torona. So I thought what a good little excuse really as we're going out together just to have a swap of the bike, see how the Tuono V4 compares to the MT10 SP, see how the Pretend V4 <laughs> compares to a real V4. I'm loving the SP, but it'd be quite interesting to do a direct comparison with, with uh, Womble's 2017 Aprilia Tuono factory. So if that sounds of interest, grab yourself a coffee, I've got mine, and Chopsy, roll the intro. So uh, yeah, quick coffee. We've just stopped. We've done about 20 miles or so, haven't we? Just heading down here. We've okay, just easy. we've just brimmed the bikes. There's the bikes over there. Look. We've brimmed them. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have a quick coffee and then uh, we'll head off towards Weymouth. A little cut of swap over the bikes. See how they compare. Not ridden your uh, train. Well, when did we last ride your trainer? Well, I did try it recently, didn't I? When we had the M thousand R, we had a little swap, didn't yeah. we? But uh, it's always good to get on a Toyota. But how's the MT10 SP? going to compare to the real V4. Quite interested. 2017, he's had it, second owner. How many miles do I have, do we think? Cut the thousand on it when you got it? Yeah. What's it got on it now? It's got about 16,000. 16, Has it got 16,000 on it now? Wow. 16,000 trouble-free miles, apart from a couple of little error messages. Oh, <laughs> couple of little error messages been popping up recently, isn't there? But anyway. It's been bloody good bike, it's been bloody good bike. And then we've got the MT10 SP 2023 model with all the active Olin suspension, um, braided lines on the uh, on the SP version. Still got the Brembo master cylinder like this this year, but with the braided lines, the brakes are much better than the, the standard version. I wonder whether the pad material is slightly different as well. But you know, this cross-plane engine sounds very much like a V4. Even the power delivery is very much like a V4. How's it going to compare? to a real V4, the real deal. I'll start off on the uh, MT10. We're trying out the new Cardo recording app. So one was not got a camera on his helmet, but we should better get his audio through the Cardos. It's a new feature of the Cardo app. And that's all you need. That's all you need from me. There we go. We can hear his dulcet tones. You'll get distracted <laughs> if you keep looking at me. Listen to that. Sounds a bit tinny. Nah. But you, uh, that's, yeah, all right, okay. You, you, you've won. You have got a pipe on yours, though. On bone stock. All right, so we're heading down to Weymouth. Bit of breakfast at Weymouth. The weather's been so bloody bad. We normally do this route almost every weekend sometimes, don't we? We do this. And the weather's been so, this is the first time, it's the end of August, it's the first time we've done our, our Weymouth run. That's how diabolical it's been. I haven't been out on the bike for weeks. Well, you've probably only done bloody 500 miles on your bike this year, haven't you? Yeah. Listen to that. We've both brimmed them with fuel, so we'll also be able to tell which is the most thirsty, which would be quite interesting. I honestly don't know which is going to be more thirsty. They're both brim, so when we fill up, we know who's used the most petrol. My guess is the MT10 will be slightly better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of not holding out for that. The MT10, this is this SP, so it's got the full Olin's electronic, and I've got it in the sporty mode at the moment. And it, it does handle lovely this bike. It's not the lightest bike. And the riding, I think the biggest difference is going to be between these bikes. I think the engine is actually going to feel very similar, but the riding position, I think, is going to be very different. It's quite upright on the MT10. You've got really high bars, very comfortable. Oh, it's up its ass. Way in it go. See ya. You ain't going anywhere, mate. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> hey! Out of the bloody sea, then, you was. It's 
gonna have the best soundtrack ever this video isn't it <laughs> like it's a two of the best sounding motorcycles on the market really oh hey <laughs> it's out of the sea again that's a big part of buying one of these i think the noise they make i mean even this is this is stock you know euro 5 72 cats in the exhaust <laughs> But because they tune the airbox with these holes, you actually get a bit of decent sound. But yeah, with the, with the decat and the can on it, oh, this would sound amazing. The atmosphere, isn't it? It just creates. Oh, it's, like a, it's like a scene in a film where the, the atmosphere, the music, just makes so the whole experience better. It's, it's a symphony of sound, isn't it, as you're, uh, as you're riding. We'll go very slowly, love. Yeah, the horses don't like the sound, the V4. Back with them. Let's have a little swap skis in. I'll, I'll put this in a mode which has wheelie control for you. Uh, da, 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 da. Mode B. Yeah, mode B has wheelie control, but the power is going to be a little bit softer. It's a little bit slightly softer power delivery in that B mode, but it's on. It's wheelie controls on now. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, it's much, the whole front of the bike feels much lower. The bars are definitely much lower, but wider. God, we've done that sound good, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds bloody lovely. Well, there's less engine braking on this. You take the cushion for the seat for this. <laughs> it's quite hard, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I'm sitting on concrete. This is a more racy position. It's so thin between your legs as well, this, isn't it? It's, it's big and fat between your legs, the, uh, the MT-10. Because it's a straight four. Is this person going left? Do we trust them? Suspension's lovely on this. Suspension's lovely, and that's in the hard setting on that. Oh, God. Oh, that's the back done in. Oh. <laughs> This is really stiff, isn't it? <laughs> no wonder you were out of seat a couple of times back there, bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it sounds so good, this. This isn't bad though, is it? It's very similar sound, isn't it? But just a bit more muted. Yeah. Yeah, power delivery feels sort of similar. Loads of mid-range in there, a lot like the MT-10. On paper, this is more powerful. I think it's about 175 horsepower, these, aren't they? Well, the MT-10's 160 or something, so this is slightly more powerful. Very comfortable. Yeah, it's really comfortable, isn't it? It's a little bit more relaxed, isn't it? Not... Even your legs are a bit more tucked up on this, aren't they? Your legs are more tucked up, the bars are lower, you're sort of are counted forward a little bit. I don't mind that. I mean, it's not as sporty, this, as like the S1000 or the M1000 are, oh, it's way, it's, it's even less aggressive I'd say than the Super Duke. But your feet are just, your feet are definitely up more on this, aren't they? Yeah. Because it's that RSV4, you've definitely got a bit less, less in the leg. Feels a little bit more cramped, the MT-10 feels a bit more spacious for, for a bigger person, I'd say. So that's, this is why I've never bought one of these, really. Because it's a, it's a bit more of a compact bike, isn't it? And when you're a 20 stone fatty, That, that, I love the, the way the tank's shaped around your legs on this. Yeah, it grip it, doesn't it? The electronics are really intrusive on these ones, aren't they? These early ones. It constant, constantly flashes and cutting power in there. It's like a Christmas tree, isn't it? Oh, there's cut. That's the, that's the biggest difference with, you know, the latest bikes is, you know, the electronics when this came out were a little bit rudimentary compared to the very latest kit but this was always leading the way in the day the electronics were, were class leading back when this came out but like they do show their age a little bit now yeah it feels quite sort of heavy on the front this though but turning's quite slow on it <laughs> that sound Oh, it sounds so amazing. Come in front, mate. Let's have a look at the. Uh, let's have a look at you on the SP. Ah, looks good. Take me. It does actually. It definitely looks like a bigger bike than the uh, 
to own her, doesn't it? Yeah. Even seeing you get on this and then get on mine. Do I look like a gorilla riding a tricycle? Gorilla's probably been kind. <laughs> <laughs> King. Right, King Kong. King Kong riding a tricycle. I was thinking more of a rhinoceros, but... <laughs> I've got a big nose, but bloody hell. Counting near around town, this would be quite comfortable. The road manners are really, really nice, even at lower revs. First gear is also really tall on it. So you end up being in, staying in first almost sort of all the time. I think it's got like a 60, 70 mile an hour first gear. But it's very, it's very V4 like, isn't it? The way that makes the power and stuff. I mean, I, I knew it would be, it's very, it's very similar to this. Obviously this, this is louder because it's got the pipe and stuff, but the way it makes its power is very, very similar. But that's just a little bit, a little bit nicer at lower throttle ranges. Who would have thought you'd ever say that about an MT-10? Because the old one was so snatchy. Yeah. I think performance-wise, though, the electronics are so intrusive, it would actually slow you down if you were doing on, tr on track or whatever, do you know what I mean? Because as soon as it starts to come in, it just k kicks it back quite aggressively, doesn't it? Oh, I know, you think, oh, I've got to knock it right down, because there's yeah. nothing worse coming out of the corner, and it's like, ugh! Yeah, I, I, think, I think, I think... I think, really, you need to run it the wheelie control off, and then just manage it on the back brake, you know, manage it manually because it's almost just too intrusive. But there, there is, you have got it on level three though, mate, which is the most intrusive wheelie control. So you might be, you might be better off dialing that back. Yeah, that was very interesting. Let's have a swap back and see, see how it feels. That is quite nice, I'm, I'll be honest. You've got a V4, I mean, it feels like a V4, that motor, doesn't it, to be honest? Yeah, it does. It doesn't feel like a straight four. It's nothing like a straight four, is it? It's like a V4's here, it's so close to feeling exactly like a V4. And then the harder you ride it, yeah, you get that exhaust, it gives you that. Yeah, it does. And if you, if you, if you, you, know, you put a pipe on it and it would sound like that, I'm sure. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's impressive, I have to say. So if you can live with the looks, and, I, and the looks really growing on me, to be honest. Yeah, I don't mind the front, I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, the, the gold Olins, it looks nice, doesn't it? The black and the gold's a good contrast, isn't it? Yeah, she's, uh... Sounds good. Oh, there we go, Weymouth. Weymouth, first time this year, mate. Sea views, sea air, sewage filled seas. Oh yeah. Good old British breakfast in the rain. <laughs> Am I sweating eating this or is that rain? Oh, you've got to have a British summer time, haven't you? You've got to have a British summer time. Never baked beans are getting washed away. This is where we started, mate. Let's fill up again and see which bikes use the most fuel. Oh, the fuel there, we fuel eight. I still said I've got a full tank, but I've managed to put five litres in. Hang on. So that is more or less brim in there. Extra little squirt. Eight, 8.1 litres. 8.1, 8.96. Oh, so she's just slightly less thirsty than the Toona, than the, than the real V4. Yeah, eight point one and you're 8.96 so almost a litre then almost a litre that's not too bad though come on through one let's have one last look at your Tuono to wrap the video up look at that beauty red front wheel green back wheel it's all over the place isn't it <laughs> but yeah there we go thanks for watching anyway it's a bit of a fun video really just comparing these two obviously Wombles is six years old we're not comparing it to the brand new Tuono but uh, it, it's, it's all the same though, isn't it? It's all the same, compares that V4 power. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.